This is Heart Rhythm TV. I'm Roderick Tung. With me, I have Celine Gallagher from the University of Adelaide in Australia, RN and PhD postdoc. Welcome, Celine. Thank you for having me. Thanks for joining us. You know, your team is known to be the lifestyle intervention team, and you're the most successful probably globally with all the different publications of weight loss, reducing metabolic syndrome, and your lecture was very engaging because it was talking about the relentless rise of AFib hospitalizations. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the secret to your success, your team, and then help AF. Absolutely. Uh, the success of our team really lies in running a dedicated clinic to manage cardiovascular risk factors. This runs separately to our medical care clinic. Uh, so that we can really ensure that we are individualizing and tailoring the clinic to meet the needs of our patient. Uh, so recently, we have uh, presented the results of a study which looked at the role of education in atrial fibrillation. Uh, so as you mentioned, this was the HELP AF study where we sought to look at what the role of education alone is without being in an integrated care clinic, just what the impact of education alone is. Uh, so this study looked at uh, the impact of the delivery of two home visits by a nurse or a pharmacist. And these home visits used a structured educational visiting approach where we aimed to influence patient behaviors through the delivery of key messages. After two home visits delivered by a nurse or a pharmacist, this intervention uh, resulted in a 26% reduction in all-cause unplanned hospitalizations after two years of follow-up. So we're really excited about this because it does highlight how important the role of education is, is in improving outcomes in the AF population. And this is, of course, a, a really widely applicable model that could be uh, taken up at any center around the world. I think that's really great for our viewers and our society to hear because you're doing home visits to really get in there. And, you know, in America, we've got two out of three patients that are overweight. Two out of three Americans are overweight. And then obviously the majority of our AFib patients are overweight and we're battling this obesity epidemic. What do you believe, so you're offering home visits, what do you believe is the optimal frequency of visits when you have a lifestyle intervention? Is it something that's weekly? Is it something that's monthly? And what does your team do? So if we're looking at cardiovascular risk factor management, we really adapt the frequency of our visits dependent upon patient need and progress over time. So we can see patients weekly, in, in particularly in the beginning, uh, until we start to see some progress. Uh, we may use email contact uh, to ensure that we are um, progressing our patients. And then as they start to improve over time, we can reduce the frequency of that contact. Uh, but certainly in the beginning, what we have found is that more frequent contact does uh, result in improved outcomes. That's wonderful. You'll be delighted to hear that your message has gone across the world because in Chicago, we're doing an intermittent fasting study and we're doing weekly weight checks either by phone or for them to send it in and then come in monthly for in-person weight checks. So we hear your message and I wanna congratulate you and your entire team for really being champions and being tremendously successful both clinically and academically. Thank you, Dr. Tung, and we're very excited to see your intermittent fasting results. <laughs> so for all of our viewers, tune in to Celine's talk in the focus of, the, of reducing AFib hospitalization in the allied health professional section, whether you're an allied health professional or not, everyone should tune in. Thank you, Celine. <laughs>